mean for us? Uh, what is better, high liquidity, low liquidity? Um, volatility, like we said, grabs headlines. So if you want you know, if the liquidity provider thinks, hey, I want a lot of news coverage around this, Let, you know, let's say the OA, for example, who has been benevolent, and let's say that they are the liquidity provider, the majority of it, and they want what's best for the project, and they think, hey, let's grab a bunch of headlines while we're, while we're doing this. And, and, you know, if HEX is set to be a long-term project, then they don't really care if the, the price drops in the short term. If the price in the long term, which is what all the staking class cares about, if that price continues to accumulate, because if the price drops, then maybe the you know there's a bunch of people that early end stake. Now the staking class is so small, you're going to be getting a lot more of the inflation per year. You're going to be earning a lot more interest, and then we can change the narrative again a little bit away from big payday to hey, look at how much interest you're earning, um, and this could be you know for your future. So um, I think volatility might still be good news because bad news is still good news. Um, when there's low liquidity, it means uh, means hex goes to people who value it. So if there's low liquidity and you're buying hex at a high price, basically, you're less likely to sell it because you bought in. You know, this is kind of like how people that bought the top of Bitcoin or the top of Ethereum, they're not really trying to sell their bags. They've been hodling for a really long time because they hope the price will get back to where it was. And so when there's low liquidity, it goes to people that value it. And I think that's also important. Um, there's been a lot of hex, uh, hate towards hex, um, and so the other case is if there's high liquidity, it prevents dumping, and that might be a, a big, you know, f you to um, all the haters out there. So maybe there's an opportunity for higher liquidity because the uh, the liquidity providers or the OA, whoever it is, um, and anyone can provide liquidity. It doesn't have to be the OA. I'm just using a very large uh, entity in this example, but you know they might want to prove the haters wrong that hey this isn't a pump and dump you know once you get in you're going to maintain your balance and then it might incite more fomo if there's high liquidity for a period of time um and so that might also be a way that it plays out um and at the end of the day you want to remember hex the design intent of hex is to bring the cd market the time deposit market to the blockchain invest in the long term set up your laddering stakes uh, your laddering CDs is a common terminology. It's a common thing in, the, in a traditional market. There's nothing new. So creating ladders for yourself in, in HEX should not be anything of a surprise. It, that should be something you consider um, unless you just want to do a large stake in the future. I mean, do whatever you want, but it's something to think about um, as you might consider wanting and needing more money. Um, and then I think one of my last points is um, as HEX continues to scale, exchanges and big ballers, are gonna have to get into hex. And if the liquidity is low, they're the ones that are gonna pump our bags the most, right? Because let's say Binance finally gets his shit together, Coinbase gets his shit together, and they're like, okay, we can't ignore hex anymore. You know, it's top five, maybe it's top three in the near future. You know, eventually I want it to pass Bitcoin and, and beyond. Um, once it gets to that point, um, you know, or you know, whenever these big exchanges are like, okay, we need to buy hex. That's what's going to pump our price. And so um, we want them to spend a lot of money for what we got at a cheap price, right? Because F you for being a piece of shit and gatekeeping us to begin with. Um, and that's where low liquidity will be the best for the early adopters um, and anyone that wants to jump on board.